Hi, you may or may not have done a jigsaw reading before. Um, even if you have, this one might be a little bit different than the one that you've done in the past. Let me just give you an overall uh, look at it. We've got an article. It's about eight pages long, and I've chopped it up into pieces. So consider this a puzzle, and I'm pulling it apart. Actually, this bracket goes on for at least one or two more pages. So that's the first section. Then the second one is this. Third, that, and this is the fourth one. So the puzzle, each piece is about nine pages that you will read. You have been put in a group. It's an NFL team. Um, so you will each have to read one section. You've all been given a section to read. So um, what you're going to do is take the puzzle apart. One group is going to read this, one that, one that, one that. In some cases, two people might be reading the same part in the um, original group. <laughs> so you may have more than four people in your group. Then going over here, by the time you finish it, all of your puzzle pieces need to be in place and you need to write one cohesive summary on the whole on the whole piece on the whole article so okay so i'm going to go here and just kind of explain this to you so the learning objective is to fit the pieces of an article together to make one coherent well written summary Okay, so in the original group, let's say that you're the cowboy group. Let me show you the groups. We got the Cowboys, we got the Rams, the Broncos, and the Packers. And within each of those, we have four reading parts. Avengers, Beatles, Oz, and Ninjas. You just saw that. Okay, so when you're in the original group, obviously, if you're in a face-to-face -face class, you're going to meet together and read silently, write your first summary, and then move on to your expert group. In the remote groups, like you guys, you probably will just want to uh, read to yourself and, and write your first summary to yourself. and um, so, yeah, so after each student reads his or her piece and takes notes, so if you're an Avenger, you're going to take notes on your what you read, the, those nine or ten paragraphs, then once you and your, uh, I gave you some timelines you might want to abide by, but once all of y'all have done that in your group, like say you're the Cowboys, then y'all need to get together on Blackboard, and I'll show you that in a, a different recording. But you get together on that and share what you've written. And so you're going to get with all of the Avengers in, in the class, okay? And the Beatles are all going to meet together, and the Ozes are going to meet together, and the Ninjas are going to meet together. And so I've also set you up in those groups as well. So you've got a main group, let's say you're the Cowboys, and then you have section names. So these are your section names. So you're going to break out of your group in the second round and meet with Avengers. Avengers all meet together in one room. And y'all could actually use Blackboard Collaborate and do that in real time if you want to. So um, once each person has shared his or her notes, then they that person will add their notes to file exchange. Again, I'll show you that 
here in a moment in a different recording. Once you're back in your original group, report back the summary um, that your expert group agreed on. Okay, so you're going to have to also post your revised notes. And then all of y'all combine that together to make one single summary that puts all the pieces together. So let's say Johnny read the Avengers, and so he silently read it, then he wrote notes, then he met with the other Avengers, he revised his notes, now he's reporting back. So since Johnny is reading Avengers, that's the first part. Then let's say Mary is read the Beetle part. And she's met with the Beetle experts from all, probably three or four other people. And then she reports back. Then the next one is Oz. Let's say Tommy did that one. So uh, he's going to report that. And then the ninjas would be the last nine paragraphs or 10 or however many there are. So, again, you've been assigned to four groups. Now, notice section and groups are different things. Your group is NFL. Your section is a famous foursome. Okay? So, in your NFL group, I just went by all of that. But I would say by tomorrow night, y'all should be able to submit your notes and um have them ready and by thursday you should meet with the expert team now you can go ahead actually once you've done your section you could just go on to this one right here so let's say tonight you decide hmm, okay well i'm going to read my section i'm going to write my notes and then I'm going to go ahead and post them on file exchange. Y'all can move up your meeting times. And then when all four of you or five of you have your, your summaries, your initial summary posted on file exchange, then you guys can meet together and uh, with your expert team. And get together all of the Avengers. Again, you would be in the Avenger group for that. Okay, so you're going to be in two different groups. The main group that you're going to get a grade on, which would be the NFL one. And then you're going to be in the section groups to report your part of the summary. Okay, by Saturday, you need to get back with that original group and, and share your ideas and put all of the pieces of the puzzle together. And you will just turn in one summary with your group name on it, and I will have a template for you to fill out. Okay, this is how it works. So, Cowboys, you might have uh, two Avengers, one Beetle, Oz, Ninjas, there might be two ninjas on this one, but there are just four groups. Okay, after you write your silent, you did a silent reading all by yourself, independent reading, and you have written the summary. Next, you and your group arrange to meet, and you'll meet with your, you'll meet if you're a ninja in the ninja group, if you're an Oz in the Oz group. Avengers, Beatles. These are your expert groups. Your experts, because you have read that section and that section alone. Then, and if you're wondering, well, what should I write? Well, the who, what, when, where, why, how. Okay, that's a good place to start. Um, remember, summaries don't go into great detail, but they, they do, they're detailed enough where you get a good sense of what the article is about okay so and what's interesting about it you only know your part of the puzzle so it probably doesn't make sense until you put it all together okay so okay 
This is how your project's going to be graded. On file exchange, you should have submitted two documents, your original notes, and then when you meet with your expert would be revised notes. <clears throat> and then your group summary. All of that is 50%. Mm -hmm. So if some reason you don't turn in your notes on file exchange, then I'm not even going to entertain the fact that you were part of the group summary. I'll know that you weren't. So you'll get a zero on that part. The other 50%, next week I'm going to give you a quiz. <clears throat> then I'm going to take all group members. I'm going to average your quiz grades together, and that's the other half. So you'll get two grades. So make sure that you got those documents on file exchange. 